part is going to be to make this video, um, but I have to take off my earphones, headphones, because I don't, I don't need that. Um, but hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, and I make lifestyle videos. Um, and in this phase of my life. I am trying to survive. Um, a little dramatic, but I'll get into it. Um, so this is just gonna be like, like an update video, I guess, to say I I really hate those. I hate the update videos. I hate the when YouTubers were have been away for a while and they come back with this update video of what they've been doing I'm always like just just vlog just vlog it but I I have to um, because I haven't been in the head state I haven't been in the headspace to vlog in the past year as evident because the last video I put out was probably the um, the six month update of my vision board um, and like shortly after that video so much it started going down and I was having so much anxiety and like anxiety attacks panic attacks anxiety for things to happen you know I, I fell into another little depression um, and I will maybe, maybe not explain this. I don't want this video to be super long, but I just, I felt like I should make this just to put it out there to kind of jumpstart, I guess, a new season. So, yeah, let's, let's say that. Let's say this is episode one of season two of my YouTube life <laughs> but yeah so as I'm taping this it is you know 6 p.m. it is July 18th 2022 so it has been pretty much a year since my last video I am out in nature I felt like just being out of the house or I should say apartment um, just get out the apartment just to walk around as you can probably you can maybe yeah you can probably see how sweaty I am it is July it is 80 degrees and you know I have my book bag my brand new book bag which I'll do you know explain more in another video but so you probably see those imprints um, so yeah 2022 a lot has happened a lot of not good stuff and then some stuff that's pitting me on a you know incline trajectory like a positive incline I should say I don't know I'm still in the dark with everything um, there's something going on right now that if I start crying in this video don't mind me um, but like I said, I wanted to put something out there because the whole point of me starting this YouTube channel was to document my journey. And when you document your life, you can't just document all the positives. You have to document, you know, you can't just address the positive things, things happy go lucky. Oh, you know, you have to talk about the tough things that are happening and, and how you went through it. Um, and I know a lot of like YouTubers I follow are realizing that too. You know, YouTube, Instagram, all the social media is just all these positive things, good things that are happening, and then you don't know what's happening behind the camera or when the camera's turned off. So I'm rambling. I don't know. Like I said, I just wanted to put something out there. I didn't write anything down. I don't have a script. This is mostly why I don't like sit down videos because of the pre-planning. But um, I'm just gonna go bullet point some things that's been happening. So 
where to start. Still, still working. Um, still working at two places. I don't know if I really even said that in the last video or two that I posted. So, like I said, it's a new season. So let's just scratch everything, start from scratch. So, two jobs. Super slow in both of them because I work, I work at a pizza shop and I work at a bar. Summer, school's out, people on vacation. It's slow. I'm not working a lot. I'm working maybe three, two, three days, three days maybe, two days a week, which that is um, taking a turn. Not taking a turn. I don't know what to say. Ah. This is so horrible because I didn't really want to edit this video like that because I don't have a laptop. Which is another thing I'll get into. So I just wanted to make this video that doesn't need a lot of editing. And I'm sorry if there's going to be a lot of like dead space in this. But yep, work at the pizza shop, Blaze. I work at this um, neighborhood bar called Bluebirds. Bluebirds, I only work Friday, Saturday nights. That's usually how it's been over the past year uh, that I've been working there. So I work Friday, Saturday nights. And Lou Birds is my full-time job where I'm open to work five days a week. But like I said, I've only been working one up to like three days a week if I'm lucky. Um, so there's that. School. I mean, I'm going to be in school for a while. But I have hidden applications to transfer and I definitely am going to put out another video about the transfer process and everything about that. But yes, I was supposed to graduate this summer. I only have two classes left for my associate's degree. So I'm going to, I'm receiving associates and mathematics slash natural science that's what it is at the community college I go to and I was supposed to do like the second summer session finish that up but I had a situation come up where a my laptop was stolen and other things were stolen and I can't I had to withdraw from the classes, or not withdraw because classes didn't start at, yet at this point. I had to push it to the fall because I knew I wasn't going to be able, I wasn't in the headspace. I knew I wasn't going to be able to concentrate, you know, do the work, and there's only so much you can say to professors, and I didn't want, you know, to be a problem with excuses of just um, something that's throwing me back into a depression and anxiety attacks and I don't even have my medication right now because that was stolen too um, but I'll get on into that later but I will be graduating this fall actually I already um, like I guess I applied to transfer schools I applied to like almost 20 schools right now and because of the situation I did reach out to some to defer my applications to the spring of 2023. There's a couple that I'm still leaving open for fall 2022, just to see how it goes. But so, yeah, so applying to transfer schools, I am so happy about that. I'm just ready to move on, ready for a new phase of my life, and um, taking like these last couple of classes in the fall at community, Delaware County Community College. And of course, I'll let you know my course load and everything like that. Um, and with that, since I was supposed to graduate this summer, I, I didn't walk, but I did order cap and gown and I did take some graduation photos, um, which was really fun. It was a gorgeous day, and it was like the perfect location with the city of Philadelphia um, in the backdrop. So I will uh, reveal that soon. It's not even on my Instagram yet, um, but so that's school work. 
uh, me and my boyfriend Kevin still together. We are long distance right now. He is in Jersey with his parents and I am here in Philly with, uh, with my mom. So she moved out of the house she was at. That was originally my dad's house, but it was bought by a rental company, property management. And then she just moved out in May, like the end of May, to this really nice two-bedroom apartment that's like in the middle of Fairmount Park. So she's surrounded by nature and trees, and I have really been taking advantage of that since I'm not working as much and being in the apartment is making me makes me sad. And um I'm just trying to like get my emotions together, my anxiety and my depression in order. So I've been like going out and about in nature. So, so those are the, those are some updates. Um, I just want to make sure there's like no one around because vlogging in public is still weird and awkward. Uh, and also I am like in front of a train track maybe I'll turn you around I'll show you you can see I am at a train station so I just want to keep an eye out and an ear I don't want like the train to be you know going past I'm trying to say stuff so uh, yeah so that's that is a quick condensed update school entering my final semesters at community college um, with my mom but um there is just the situation that just came up so like i said my mom moved out of you know the house she has been at She's been there for like 12 years now. It, like I said, it was originally my father's house, but he passed away when, after I graduated high school and through things, the house was sold, you know, as an estate. I was, you know, too young to do anything. I wasn't, he didn't have any, um, he didn't have a will, he didn't have ex executors. So my siblings just sold the house and, you know, went, went their ways. But, um, so the property manager recently sold the house this year, and so it was bought out by a new rental company. So, um, so, you know, I guess I should backtrack. So anyway, it was like a good situation for me and possibly you know for me and Kevin to you know move into the house take over the lease or whatever so she didn't start a lease with a new company um, yeah because she wanted to leave because she didn't want to be there if they like was going to raise the rent and everything because it's a, it's a nice house but it's it's in West Philly and I'm sure everyone is you know feeling the effects of rising rent and everything and she didn't want to be in that because the house and the neighborhood it's not a terrible neighborhood. It's pretty. It's a nice, safe neighborhood in the hood. But she felt that they were going to raise the rent because she did have an issue with like that month when it was like the turning over of the new management. She paid, but then the new company was like, "You need to pay," and she was like, "I already paid. You need to find this money because I'm not paying twice." So that's when she was like, "I'm going to cut my losses. I'm going to save up." I'm looking for a new place and I'm moving so I'm like oh okay cool like I would love to be in my dad's house for you know however long a few months six months maybe even a year while I'm applying to schools finishing up my associates saying you know and finally say like my goodbyes to the house and everything so I reached out to them I was like look you know because as far as they know I was there the whole time too. I was like, my mom's leaving, but I'm saying I would like to have a lease. Okay. Um, looking back, I, 
they know they did reach back out to me but through all the spam like I get so much like spam phone calls and my phone just if it's not like a registered I don't know like with the caller ID on my phone like it'll say when if some if I'm getting a call it'll say suspected spam spam or whatever <clears throat> So I may have missed their call or like their email or whatever. So I went to work one day and while I was at work, my neighbor and my mom called, both calling me, messaging me, talking about um, sorry, the opposing train just whizzed by. So, so yes, yeah, so I reached out to the company. I was like, I want a lease. I want to stay, whatever, month to month, a whole lease, what have you. And they, you know, I come home from work one day. I go to work and I come home, the locks are changed. No notes, no court order, nothing. They just came, changed the locks on me with my animals inside because I do have a ferret and a dog, um, Hermes and Kratos, and there's someone in the background. <laughs> um, so yeah, so my aunt, my aunt, so my neighbor and my mom calling me, messaging me while I'm at work, you know, my aunt keep saying my aunt okay so yeah so my mom my neighbor messaging me calling me blowing up my phone telling me you know don't go to the house whatever there's people there they're changing the locks they're talking about they're calling the cops on you blah 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 and honestly the only reason why I didn't leave work and looking back I probably should have I probably should have left work to deal with that situation um especially since everything that's happening because of it. But anyway, like I knew, like I know, I know how it works. I know how evictions and stuff works. I'm like, they don't have a court order. They, whatever they're doing there, it's illegal and I'll just deal with it in court and stuff. So I, you know, after work, I email, you know, the same person that I've been emailing before another train's coming <laughs> all right another train came by and the conductor was like he opened his window like you're making a video I'm like yeah don't mind me I'll catch the next one but um where was I yeah so I emailed the company you know the person who I've been talking to I messaged before about getting a lease and pretty much they're like you know, I'm like, look, what what's going on? Like, I said I wanted a lease. Why why are the locks changed? Can I get my stuff? Cause, you know, I just went to work that day, so my laptop was there, my my anxiety, depression medication still in the house. I mean, you know, everything I own, like, all I had on me was my wallet, my phone, not even really a charger. And then, you know, more importantly, my animals are in the house. My dog was in the backyard and my ferret. All right, I make it cut off because I'm, I don't have much storage on my phone uh, for these long videos. Um, but yeah, so I reached out that day. I was like, look, I have, I have animals in the house. I have my laptop because at that point I was doing summer session one and it was actually two days before my final essay was due I was taking English comp one so you know all all of my work was on the laptop and they responded with no no one can enter the unit because of the conditions and you can't get your stuff I'm like why like it makes it makes no sense. I was so infuriated and I was so concerned. I was like, look, my pets are in the house. And they were like, well, you know, animal control picked them up. 
okay. I'm like, all right, fine. If animal control has them, I can go to the shelters, prove that they're mine, pick them up, what have you. This was June 28th. Tuesday, June 28th. It is July 18th. My animals were not at the shelter. Animal control never received a call for the house, for the address. Police never received a call for the address. No one ever came out. So they just came in, illegally locked me out, and stole my animals. Which I, I know I'm seeing some type of way, but I, I have to do this because I don't want to cry on camera because I have cried enough times I've cried at the police station, I've cried at the animal shelter, and like, I am pissed off. So pissed off. So angry. And before, you know, people comment down below, yes, I made a report, yes, I made lost animal reports. I did everything I was supposed to do besides break back in the house, which I was advised to do, which I may do. I may just go and change the locks again and just go in the house because the stuff on the porch is now missing. So I think they're like in the house doing whatever. But uh, the point of that is that my dog and my ferret were stolen. I don't know if the person that changed the locks pretended to be the owners and like sold them or whatever, but I've gone to every animal community in the area. No one's fostering them. They're not at, you know, PSPCA. They're not with animal control team. They're not at any animal shelter. And I'm just like, I want my babies back. Like that's the biggest thing. And mark my words, I am taking this company to court and I am going to sue them for everything they have and press criminal charges. Um, because my neighbor, a neighbor told me that they did see people come out with my animals in cages and carriers that were not the police or animal control, just like a random couple. So a random couple have my animals, I, I'm going after them too. So that's, that's the gist of it. Um, so as of right now, my babies are lost slash stolen and I am doing everything I can to keep from spiraling into a depression and crying or breaking being destructive because of course my medication was in the house too. Alright, so obviously different setting, different setting, different lighting. The sun's going down, um, my phone cut off so I just, and the train was coming so I hopped on the train, went to my job to get dinner. So I got a pepperoni pizza. And I was just kind of going over what I already recorded for you guys. But, um, so basically that's the, uh, the gist of it. This company stole my animals at this point and I am pressing charges, going to court, I already filed everything I need to, I've done everything I need to legally. I, so my next step is to get back into the house and and take it from there and find my animals and um, so that's that's why I not taking classes this summer because of the fact that my my love my lovelies were stolen from me and I can't concentrate it's hard for me to concentrate at work even though I'm working so little even when I'm there I'm still like you know spacing out I'm just like waiting by my phone hope, hoping you know the shelter will call me saying my animals got in because um, cause my dog is microchipped. He's microchipped and he is licensed with the city. My ferret is not. 
because you typically don't do that for ferrets, especially since I don't, we don't really bring him outside like that. Sorry if you hear a lot of noise in the background. I am, I am at a Drexel University campus, and then there's like a little fountain in the back as well. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wrap up this video. That's pretty much all the updates I have. If you're not, please follow me on Instagram for my day-to-day -day -day content. Uh, follow me on TikTok. I actually posted on TikTok for the first time in a year. So uh, I have a new ring light, which this phone is prompted on. I'm happy to be getting back into that because that has helped tremendously watching TikTok videos and making TikTok videos. Another reason why I wanted to get back into YouTube because I do generally like it and it's, it's, it's a great hobby. So that's that. School, work, relationships, life, and this impending lawsuit. So please, um, I hope you subscribe, not just for this particular drama, but please subscribe to my channel uh, for my journey through undergrad because I am attempting to, I want to go to medical school. One, that was another main reason of my channel, if you haven't, if you just started following me. I am on that path to medical school, path to path A path to pathology. I want to be a forensic pathologist. So that is like the main focus of my channel and then just life in general. I am a 30 something year old female. So I am a non-traditional student and I'm just doing the best I can, <clears throat> excuse me, doing the best I can to navigate that life, trying to balance school, work, life, and just fulfilling, just uh, living a fulfilling um, life with, <laughs> with that. So I'm gonna stop rambling because I just, I don't want my phone to cut off on me again. But yeah, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Please comment below, you know, whatever you like. Just don't talk me about what I need to do. I know what I need to do with the housing situation. I've done everything I can. Now I just have to leave it in the hands of lawyers and, you know, God and and just try to just try to live because I can't stop living. I have to keep going, keep moving forward. But yeah, wish me luck. It's it's going to be hard, I know, but it has to be done. But again, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at uh, just call me Coops. I'll have it I think in my in my outro. I'll have it, and I will see you guys later. Bye.